Hey there Northern Beekeepers. Uh, today what I'm doing is putting on the emergency sugar for the winter. Um, in the last video you saw me make up uh, the sugar patties with the, uh, the, the Pro Health from Man Lake. Um, doing more experimenting this winter where I'm just going to do a portion of the hives with that mixture and then the other portion with just uh, straight sugar. So last night I went ahead and put on the uh, the Pro Health Sugar on uh, some of the hives in the background there. And uh, today I'll be finishing up with uh, just the regular sugar. Um, we got uh, a little decent weather today where the, some of the bees are out flying. We're probably mid 40s and some sun. And uh, it's probably be the last uh, flight day here for probably quite a few months based on the weather. So. Let's crack these girls open here and uh, I'll kind of show you what I do here just to pour some sugar on. Just a little wax paper and uh, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, so this is uh, one of my nukes here. 5 over 5 nukes. Open them up here, try to get out of the sunlight. <clears throat> you can see they're, they're all active up here. Um, kind of in this top box, I'm assuming they are going to go down uh, into the bottom. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just put a sheet of wax paper on there, weigh out uh, five pounds of honey there with my little, or not honey, five pounds of sugar on my little scale and pour that in there and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like uh, once I put the sugar on. I just take that sheet of wax paper and kind of shove it in the corners there so it doesn't fall down into the hive and uh, just mound it up. I just took the five pounds. That uh, seems to be a pretty good number. It's kind of what I did last year. Worked out pretty good. So I just kind of level that a little bit. Um, the bees really won't touch it <clears throat> for quite some time. That sugar will act like a, a moisture absorber and uh, it'll harden up over the winter. What it'll do then is uh, act as an emergency store for the bees later in the year when they might be getting low on honey and I can't get into the hive to feed them because it's too cold or you know some other conditions don't allow that <clears throat> so we also have this half inch top entrance up here it's where the bees can get in and out you know fairly easy and see here on the back side so that'll also help moisture come out of the hive as the heat <clears throat> From the uh, the hive comes out it'll go out that top hole the sugar will also absorb the moisture and between those two things you know that kind of acts as a good uh, moisture barrier for the bees and that's what I'm gonna do here to the rest of the hives last night I got all those ones back here behind me done and got this row here and then uh, these two rows here so got a little work ahead of me but it's a beautiful day Probably the last uh, decent day to get inside the hives here and open up without causing too much trouble. And uh, after that I just got a few of these to put the tar paper on. I probably won't do it today since they're all out flying. Um, it's looking like next weekend's going to be in the 30s so I'll probably do that next weekend. And they'll be fully winterized for the winter. Alright, thanks to everyone. Hit that like, like button, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.